Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province has been operating a parental skills education program called Kyungi True Parent for new and expectant parents. Providing guidance on becoming good parents, understanding children, and building strong relationships with children, this program was launched last year through a related public contest for parental education concepts. Education is provided in a contactless teleconference format by 18 childcare facilities in the province. Those wishing to apply for the program may do so after reviewing the schedules of those facilities. On July 13th, the 353rd Kyungi Provincial Assembly Extraordinary Session opened for an eight-day run. Items to be reviewed during the session include an ordinance pertaining to the establishment and operation of a fund to return profits from provincial development projects to residents. This ordinance is geared to enable the transparent operation and effective use of public development profits to improve quality of life for residents. Another ordinance to be reviewed concerns the establishment and operation of an integrated response system to violence against women and domestic violence. This will be a cooperative system involving Kyungi's regional police offices, consultation agencies and academia. Other items to be reviewed include an ordinance for the operation and support of river and valley monitors and a proposal for child care facility nudie program fee support for foreign children. Since 2018, Kyungi Province has been operating Happy Town Guard Houses in older urban areas so as to provide their residents with services similar to those of apartment management offices. Constructed through the utilization of idle spaces at public facilities, the role of the Happy Town Guard Houses is to provide assistance required by residents such as environmental improvements, tool lending, delivery receipt, and safety escorts. With such services receiving positive responses from residents, the province announced plans to establish five more Happy Town guardhouses, increasing their number from the originally planned 76 to 81 this year. On July 13th, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung hosted a meeting with space industry personnel. During the meeting, Governor Lee discussed the present and future development of the space industry with professors, researchers and specialists in space and aviation fields. Kyungi Province's initiatives to ensure public washroom safety include its alarm installation and illegal camera detection programs. This year, the province will add the Private Washroom Improvement Program for Women's Safety the first program of its kind in Korea. This new initiative involves the environmental improvement of 1,000 private washrooms by 2023 for crime prevention through the installation of voice or button activated alarms that directly notify local police, as well as safety screens that prevent illegal camera recordings. Other amenities to be installed include safety mirrors and LED shadow illumination for enhanced crime prevention. Kyungi Province is receiving applications from furniture SMEs in the province for a place among 30 spots at the 2021 Korea International Furniture and Interior Fair or COFERN. Marking its 32nd occasion this year, the four-day event will run from August 26 to 29th and feature more than 200 local and international furniture enterprises from nine nations. Enterprises wishing to participate can apply online via the EasyBiz website, Kyungi's SME Support Information Portal. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.